Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? So, you know, Manny Pacquiao, he's um, been allowing a little bit of his training footage to to get out there. Just kind of giving the fans something to see, just showing people that he's working, that he's in the gym, he getting in shape. You know, Manny stay in shape year-round, so getting in shape really ain't no thing for him, especially fighting at 147 where he is naturally like a 140 pounder to be real i mean yeah he's come up from the low 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 weights but right now at this age like he can really walk around at 145 and be comfortable so making 147 is nothing but you know i like that he's putting out footage of him working and just being a consummate champion and legend and icon that he is you know and you know i wanted to just do an appreciation video for Manny Pacquiao just you know show him some love and and just you know big him up for being 42 years old already established legacy cemented in the game you got nothing to prove you've done everything you've accomplished everything that anybody could ever want to accomplish in the sport of boxing the only eight division champion incredible that's insane you know what I'm saying and yet you 42 years old you already took on Keith Thurman, who was an undefeated, prime, welterweight champion, a guy at the time who was really a unified champion, but got one of his belts stripped of him, stripped from him due to inactivity. You know what I'm saying? So that very well could have been a victory over a unified champion in Keith Thurman. So you do that 2019, July, two years from now. Right now, we dead in the middle of the summer of 2021, and Manny Pacquiao is scheduled to fight Earl the True Spence Jr. in August this year. So, I just, man, it's, it's, a, it's amazing when you really think about it. Like, Manny Pacquiao, you come off one of the biggest wins of your career, and that's, that's insane to even think about a guy that's 40 years old having of Manny Pacquiao's stature have coming off one of his biggest wins of his career. Like he didn't already beat Margarito, Cotto, uh, Marquez, Shane Mosley, been in there with Floyd. He beat Oscar De La Hoya, beat Ricky Hat. I mean, it's countless of opponents and accomplishments and big names that Manny Pacquiao has faced. And to be able to say at, at age 40, he had another, yet another one of his biggest wins of his career. And now you're about to fight Earl Spence Jr. And I, you know, I gave Manny Pacquiao a whole lot of shit leading up to this fight, the the build up over the last two, three, four years, because as an Earl Spence fan, as a boxing fan, but especially as an Earl Spence fan, being from Dallas, Texas myself, you know, I want to see the best for Earl Spence. I want Earl Spence to be the biggest star. I want him to accomplish everything. You know what I'm saying? I want him to have all the accomplishments. I want him to achieve all his goals. You know what I'm saying? I want Earl Spence to be the biggest star boxing has ever seen. That's just my, from coming from a fan, that's just me personally what I want to see from, you know, one of my favorite fighters. You dig what I'm saying? And I always wanted this fight for Earl Spence. And when I saw Manny Pacquiao kind of flirting with the idea of fighting Earl Spence, but not necessarily committing to it, even though I knew in my mind, I'm like, well, bro, he really don't have to fight Earl Spence. And this was before he became a champion. So I'm like, bro, he really, you don't know, have to fight Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? He really can just do whatever he want to do. But then when he got the belt, I'm like, well, Earl want to be undisputed. You with PBC, bro. Like, quit bullshitting. If you're going to fight Earl, then fight Earl. You dig what I'm saying? But I felt like Manny Pacquiao was playing with us. I felt like he wasn't going to give us the fight. He wasn't going to give Earl Spence the opportunity that Earl, you know, rightfully deserved working his way up to get in this position, becoming the number one fighter at welterweight, becoming the main attraction at the 147-pound division. And But it's here. It's here. Manny Pacquiao made me eat my words. I said that Manny Pacquiao was never going to fight Earl Spence. But here it is. He has agreed to a fight, a unification match, most likely because they're 
the, the WBA came out and said that it's a great possibility that Ugas is going to be downgraded back to regular champion. They're going to upgrade Manny Pacquiao to super champion. They need to get rid of this whole super champion shit. Just have one regular motherfucking belt. But anyway, we ain't on. That's a, a topic for another day. So they're most likely going to elevate Manny back to his rightful position as champion. And this fight will be for three belts, the WBA, WBC, and the IBF title. And the ring championship will be on the line in this fight as well. So, all that being said, I'm like, come on, bro. Manny Pacquiao, he's actually fighting Earl Spence, and it's going to be a unification match. This is incredible. I didn't think Manny Pacquiao was going to do it. A part of me still is like, is this shit even real? Like, I don't really believe this shit until they walking in the ring or until weigh-in day. You know what I'm saying? Until the first press conference or something. But, I mean, it's, this is the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. It's a mega fight. I mean, it's so much on the line, bro. This fight is definitely going to happen. And, I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. And I just want to give Manny Pacquiao kudos for taking on Earl Spence Jr. And one of the main reasons why I made this video was, talk, was to talk about the fact that he's fighting the very best version of Earl Spence. Now, of course, we don't we don't know what Earl Spence is going to look like when he go to 154. He said himself that he's going to be probably at his best at 154. He's going to be stronger, sharper, faster, more powerful, just an overall better fighter. But as of right now, the welterweight version of Earl the True Spence Jr. at 31 years old, just turned 31 this year, right, prime, you know what I'm saying, seasoned. Then been in the in in big fights, all the biggest fights you can think of. Then been in with different styles, a style here, a style there. You know, different body sizes, different frames. He done seen everything in that ring, pretty much. Now, of course, Manny Pacquiao is bringing something to the table that he never seen before. But Earl the Truth Spence Jr. really done been in there with all type of fighters, and he's been able to adapt and overcome. And now he's he has a renewed mindset 31 in his prime just entering like the tip top prime of his career back with blu-ray in the best physical condition that he's been in in his career i know y'all seen him at the jamal charlo fight i know y'all seen a brother in shape now you can tell when a motherfucker in shape you can tell i don't care what type of clothes they got on you can tell when a motherfucking shape Earl Spence is in some goddamn shape, y'all. Earl Spence is in some shape. I'm telling y'all, bro. Earl the True Spence Jr. is in some different type of shape right now. And it's June. Imagine what he gonna look like in August. For Manny Pacquiao to be fighting Earl Spence right now, the very best version of Earl Spence Jr. At the height of his career... Bro, that speak volumes of Manny Pacquiao being 42 years old, taking this fight. Yeah, one could say, well, this is the biggest payday that he can get in his division right now. That's true. And we know Manny Pacquiao got other obligations. He's in politics. You know, he's a philanthropist. He's feeding, you know, his whole village over there. You dig what I'm saying? So, of course, he's doing this shit for the money, for sure. But it's more than just the money with Manny Pacquiao. He truly want to challenge himself. You know what I'm saying? He truly, he still got that itch. He still got that, that love for the game, that, that passion for the game. You know what I'm saying? He still want to go out there and put it all on the line and show like, man, I can fuck with these young bucks. You know what I'm saying? I can beat these young Thundercats, man. These motherfuckers ain't on my level. I'm still him. You dig what I'm saying? I'm still H-I-M. You feel me? That's how many pack of y'all feel and I respect that shit. You know what I'm saying? For him to be able to to, to take on a challenge like this, take it head on and say, look, bro, I want to fight you when you at your best. Bro, he fighting Earl Spence Jr. at his best. Now, granted, you know, a lot of people say, well, Manny didn't want no smoke with Earl before the car accident. You can look at that a couple of different ways, but I'm not even look, I'm not reading nothing into that because Earl Spence is 100 percent healthy. Came back on his first fight from the accident, fought a top five welterweight and Danny Garcia, looked great. And even he said in that fight, I was only 75, 85% when it come to sharpness. He wasn't injured. 
and no bullshit like that. But we're talking about just sharpness and just feeling good, being having the longest layoff of his career and just not being as sharp. You know what I'm saying? But now he's just on a whole nother level. He's active. He's a well or machine right now. Like Manny Pacquiao is about to get in the ring with the best version of Earl Spence that we seen. And if Earl Spence is as good as any of us think he is, bro, that is dangerous. That's dangerous. But it take a whole hell of a lot of big motherfucking nuts to do what Manny Pacquiao is doing. You know what I'm saying? It take a whole lot of gall and gumption to do what Manny Pacquiao is doing. And I respect him, man. A hundred percent. I take back everything I said, man, when it came to... You know, saying that he wasn't going to take the fight. Now, he was bullshit. That's big facts. He was bullshit. I ain't taking that back. He was bullshit. And when he picked Keith Thurman, that was strategic. He picked Keith Thurman for a reason because he knew that that was a lesser of a challenge than Earl Spence. So let me go ahead and if I can get past Keith, then you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll go fuck with that young Thundercat Earl Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? So, but I respect it though. It don't matter what order. And then he was really trying to fight Bud. So I re now you fighting Earl. I got to believe you really wanted to fight Bud too. Bro, Manny Pacquiao, real motherfucker. Manny Pacquiao, real motherfucker, man. You got to respect it. Manny Pacquiao deserves an immense, unlimited amount of credit and kudos for taking this fight. You know what I'm saying? And he just showing, you know, that the, the true legend that he is. The true icon that he is, man. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. How do y'all feel about this? Like, Manny Pacquiao at age 42, coming off a two-year layoff. We ain't seen this man since 2019, pre-pandemic. We ain't seen this man since pre-pandemic. Pre-Earl Spence car accident. And this man finna fight Earl the True Spence Jr., in his prime, as sharp as ever, in excellent shape, back with Blu-ray, in the biggest fight of his career. Man, how y'all feel about that, man? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime, boxing, I holler at y'all boys, man.